How to set up payment methods in WooCommerce step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're someone that is building their site on WordPress and you are using WooCommerce as a primary tool for your e-commerce uh, deals and for selling products and services, then you need to have the ability to set up a payment method. So we're going to be doing that today and let's get started. To get started, simply head on over to your WordPress dashboard and then click on plugins and click on add new plugin. We're going to first add WooCommerce. So we're just going to search for WooCommerce over here and WooCommerce is one of the most widely used e-commerce integrations out there. You're going to click on install over here. Once you click on install, you will see the installation is going to take a couple of seconds. And once it has been installed, you're just going to click on activate. Now, once you click on activate over here, your plugin is going to be installed. Now you're going to see your WooCommerce uh, panel on the left in your menu bar. You have a home section, you have your store section. You can click on products and orders to, you know, customize that. You can click on add your product and start adding your product. For example, I'll just add a singular product. I'll just add a eyeshadow like this. And then after that, I can just add whatever info I want about the product, set up the price and the sale price. The sale price is going to be 15. And then I'm just going to save and publish. So I'll just click on publish on the right. You're definitely going to add images and other stuff to the product image, you know, the product. But once you have set your product up, you can go back into WooCommerce and you're going to have a onboarding and in your onboarding it has the option to get paid so select that and you have the option to set up your payment methods so you either have direct bank transfers or cash on delivery if you are offering cash on delivery you can enable this option and your checkout on woocommerce is going to allow your customers to basically just check out with cash which means that the product is going to be delivered to them and you're going to enable cash on delivery and just like that you can just save it and you can use a flat rate for shipping you can use free shipping this just really depends on your business model and how you're setting up you know payments now, after that, you have check payments and direct bank transfers. So you're going to click on finish setup on your direct bank transfer, make a transfer or payment directly into our bank account, place your order ID as the payment reference. Your order will not be shipped until the funds have cleared our account. Over here, you're just going to add instructions a step by step. And then you can add your bank account. So whatever your account name is, let's say it's Lily Davis and the account number is 1234. The bank name is, let's say we're, we're making up a bank. So it's Logitech Bank. And you're going to add the sort code, the IBAN number, the BIC. The IBAN number is something that all banks have. So make sure to add that. So this will make sure that all your clients have the opportunity to purchase from you via a direct bank transfer. And then after that, you just add the BIC or SWIFT. Then click on save changes over here and direct bank transfers will be the second option of payment available for your WooCommerce products. So if I go into products over here and if I go into my product pages, currently we do not have any pages, but I'm going to have to add those first so we can actually look at what the uh, checkout is going to look like. So this is the product. We can click on add to cart. Then we can click on view cart. Okay. And I haven't built a cart yet, so that's going to be a bit off. But our payment method has now been added. So people can actually go from their uh, cart to the checkout. Now, once you have done that, you're going to move towards the next step. So you might say, hey, okay, I've added direct bank transfers and cash on delivery, but I don't have, you know, basic payment options like MasterCard or Visa. Well, for that, I recommend that you get started with a third party payment provider. So for that, you're going to use Stripe. Stripe is one of the world's largest financial infrastructures out there. You can create a Stripe account and you're going to link your Stripe account. Now, when you create a Stripe account, you will have the ability to accept any type of card globally. So people can pay with their debit card, with their credit card, with their American Express card, 
with their Apple Pay or any other type of payment, Stripe has a lot of support for a lot of different types of payments. So if you're looking to integrate card payments into WooCommerce, so by default, WooCommerce only has three options. You're going to see payments and then you're going to see um, direct bank transfers, cash on delivery, and then you also have yeah check payments. So what you're going to do is you are going to move towards the next step, which is going into plugins and click on add new plugin. And you're going to search for Stripe over here. Once you search for Stripe, you will see this plugin called WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway. And this is by WooCommerce. So it is actually a plugin that they have created because they know that people want to integrate card payments onto their stores. You're going to install this and then click on activate. Once you click on activate over here, you're going to find that the WooCommerce Stripe gateway is, and you can just view the details. But once this has been enabled, if you go back into WooCommerce and you go into your get paid section or just go into settings over here and you will see in your settings if we go back we are going to go into payments over here you're going to see stripe so you're going to click on finish setup on stripe and you're going to add payment fields so you can connect or connect a test account instead or create and or connect an actual account i'm going to be connecting a test account that i have created for this example on stripe we're just going to connect a example account or a you know test account and i'm just going to continue on over here because i have just logged on with the same browser so i don't have to re-log in over and over again but we're just going to add our social security number and once all of these personal details have been verified we can proceed with our connection on stripe obviously when you are connecting your actual stripe account which is your actual account that you're going to be linking to your bank account and stripe is the place where you're going to actually link to your bank account so the funds that you receive in stripe are then sent to your bank account Make sure to create or connect an actual account instead of connecting with a test account. It's going to serve as a test mode for you. Make sure if you do even connect with a test account beforehand, then you're going to later on convert that into an actual account. And that is how you are able to set up different types of payments on Stripe. Once you've set them up completely, make sure to turn on this enable button because if you don't turn on the enable button, even if you have finished the setup of the actual payment method, you're not going or your customers are not going to see the payment method in their checkout. So make sure that you are enabling this button whenever you are setting up your checkout. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to set up payments on your WooCommerce website. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment down below if there's anything else that you would like to know regarding WordPress, Stripe, WooCommerce, or any other tool. Make sure to leave a like, share this video with someone that might need it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day ahead.